Hey guys, welcome to the build video of my Nova uh, Quantum Nova um, FPV quadcopter. Now, as you can see here, I've already got everything unboxed. There is a unboxing video of this, but uh, basically this is just a quick video just to show you how it all goes together. Okay, so what we'll do, move everything out of the way, we'll start with the uh, main legs first. So I'll turn the quadcopter over, like so. Obviously be careful if you don't want to scratch your surface or, or to damage the quadcopter yourself. Now what we need to do is just move the um, receiver aerial to control the quadcopter out of the way. Now on these um, main legs, I don't know if you can see on there, there is actually cuts outs on there for, for it to um, miss the aerial. So what we'll do is line that up. And side like that. Now I will probably um, cable tie that to the side of the leg there, like that. Keep out the way. Now we do have thumb screws here, so no tools required for this bit. And they do give you one spare, so if you do lose one, lose one, it's not the end of the world. So let's see if we just put these on there. down, make sure it's just finger tight, don't want to damage them, if the area will out of the way, you're not going to get um, squashed in between the leg and the chassis itself, so it's nice and tight there, and we'll do the same for the other side, line it up, now you're going to need to do finger tight here, because they are, they are quite tight, just that. Okay, and there's your legs. That's how quick and simple it is. So I'll turn this around. That's how it's going to be. See, really, really easy and simple. Okay, now what we've got, we've got our props next. Um, on my uh, unboxing video, I did point out that these are sided. Um, Another indication as well, they give you two um, counterclockwise um, nuts in black and they've got the clockwise ones in silver. I think that's the right way around. But uh, also on these props, it come gives you a letter like an A or a B, depending on where it's got B situated. Now I couldn't find on this Nova any letter in the tool to try and help me. But what there is, what the instructions say there is, on here there's a directional arrow. I don't know if, you, if that comes out, I'm sorry if it doesn't, what rotation it goes. So as long as you line that up with the end of the quadcopter here, I lift that up and bring it to the camera. Can you see the direction? It's around that, see that way around? Yeah, so as long as I've got the one that does the same thing, which is that one there. See, it goes the same direction. We know that one goes on that one there, so we'll just undo this. Now this is opposite, so loosening in it tightens it, tightening it loosens it. Yeah, because they're self-tightening. So we'll put that in. There's a, a little key. So I'm trying to show you all what I can. There's like a little key there, so it, see the flat surface, so it locks in. So we line that up. Make sure the directional arrows are pointing upwards. So we've got the right way around. Turn that in, and that lock shuts down. And then uh, we'll just tighten up. They are self-locking, so you can leave them like that for your time, or it does come with a spanner if you want to do it. But uh, we'll leave it like that. Now, as we know, this is the opposite. We have to do it again. So we'll put the same number on, or um, number A, which is on the prop. Which is number A, it's B, B, and A. There we go. And the orientation of the uh, arrows also match. So we know we are the right way. As these are new and never been on before, then maybe a little bit, a little tight. There we go. Okay, now what we'll do is left and as these are exactly the same, it doesn't matter which one it goes on. And these are the uh, B props or um, the counterclockwise. And just line up on the motor. Now as you can see, I'm actually turning this the opposite direction to the black ones. Because of, the, because of the rotation of the, the, the motors themselves. I'll just put that on. Okay. There 
you go. If this is your first quadcopter, then you've just built your first quadcopter if you're following this video. Um, and that is it basically finished. And there's your transmitter to control it. All we need to do now is insert the battery, do the pre-flight checks, which is down in the manual, um, and you can fly. Now, if you want to um, put a camera on it, for instance, for FPV, which is what I'm going to do, the supplied um, camera mount is here. It's got a pre-made -pre sleeve there to put your camera in, or you can undo the um, bolt here, remove uh, that piece out of the way, and bolt your camera directly on there using the waterproof case, if, if you prefer, which I'll quickly show you with my um, SJ camera. Excuse me, that's basically how it comes in the box. Let's undo my, my key here. Now, as I said before, these are interchangeable with the GoPro um, mounts. So this should fit on my camera. So we'll just line that up. As you can see, it fits in nicely. We'll grab the, the, the main bolt to hold it straight in and then we'll just spin it. And then you can um, mount it whatever direction you want it, just tighten up your screw um, and then that will be it will stay. So basically, if you can, when your quadcopter moves, the camera will move with it. Um, so if you, sorry, I'm trying to get in the camera. So if you're flying forward like that, you know, your camera is always going to be pointing down towards the ground. It's not going to stay straight So when your camera does this. So this is not very good using this fixed mount for FPV. Now what I have got is a Walkera G2D gimbal. It's exactly the same as the Quantum one, but uh, they didn't have any stock and they didn't know when they were getting them. And I was told on the forums that this is exactly the same. Um, I got the plastic white version and not the metal one because I want to save on weight to get more flight time. Uh, there is an unboxing of this, so you'll get to see that. There will be a link for it. Um, and there's basically the gimbal there. I'm not going to put it on, but just to show you, as I'll be gentle with this, as we can see here, we've got the, the uh, damping things on it. The other one has damp as well. That will just screw um, on the bottom of your quadcopter, like so. There is screws there. Uh, yeah. No, there's a screw for them, but I'm not going to fit it yet. Um, that is basically it. I'm not sure which orientation is like that way or it's you know, that way depending on uh, where you want it. And underneath here you've got your uh, screw holes depending on what orientation you want to put on your quadcopter. Okay. And just to show the front. If it was this one you was going to be using, it gives you uh, plenty of... Sorry, I'll show you down there. It gives you plenty of ground clearance for the quadcopter and the camera when using these uh, legs that come supplied. Okay. That away. And just one more last thing. Um, to fit your battery, pretty simple. You just turn on the side there. You open up the uh, main flap, move the power lead out of the way. And it's really simple. All you do is just push it, put it in and just push it down so it doesn't go any further. And then, you, know, you, you turn on your transmitter uh, first and then you connect your power like so and then you just hide the engine inside like that and then you place your battery tray and that is uh, and that is how you basically do it and there's your Quantum Nova ready to fly quadcopter built ready to ready to start doing your tests and then going out and enjoying yourself basically so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.